So today we're talking about the new Joker movie. It's going to be a standalone DC film about a, I guess, more gritty take on, on the Joker and the crime underworld. Uh, no Batman apparently yet has been announced for it, and it's separate from the DC EU. So uh, I'm not sure why they're, they have two separate Jokers, you know, going at the same time, but whenever I first heard that Joaquin Phoenix was being uh, cast as the Joker, I was actually, I was actually happy about that. I kind of wish he was, you know, our Joker right now, but you know, we're stuck with, you know who, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure why they would make a Joker movie without Batman. I think after Heath Ledger gave his performance as the Joker, uh, that really took off with, you know, I guess you could call the normies. It was a really good performance, of course, you know, but I really do like that Joker a lot, but yeah, it really put the Joker character in the mainstream and I think that's what DC is doing by by making this standalone film is basically taking that because there's still like a huge, you know, falling of the Joker. I'm not saying it's a cash grab, but it is just a standalone Joker movie, which doesn't make sense without Batman. The reason why we're talking about Joker today is this just came out and this is uh, Esquire.com and it says Joaquin Phoenix doesn't care what you think about his Joker. So uh, there's a red flag there, you know. I'm not sure why all these entertainment studios and and actors are, are acting like this towards towards the people that they're making these movies for, but let's get into this article. Unlike method actor Jared Leto, why is his name TM, who very much cared about what you think about his Joker, Joaquin Phoenix, couldn't care less about playing the iconic Batman villain. In a new interview with IndieWire, Phoenix was dismissive of his upcoming gig. By the way, I think Jared Leto w would have played a great Joker. It's just how it's just how the filmmaker went about going with this style of character. I think I think he could have done a lot better version of the Joker, and I'm not placing all the blame on him at all. In an interview to promote The Sisters Brothers, Phoenix said he was already preparing for the role and expressed concern that promoting the new release was getting in his way. <laughs> so he's just like, ah, this is annoying me. It is ideal to be able to focus on one thing and not do press while you're prepping for something else, which is not working out. He said, nevertheless, the typical, typically tight-lipped actor shrugged off the pressure of tackling such an iconic character. I could care less, <laughs> he said. I don't really think that much about what people think. Who cares? I mean, who cares? My approach to every movie is the same. What I'm interested in is the filmmaker and the idea of the character. That really just... Uh, seems to me like a typical like you know one of these artsy artsy guys these artsy actors you could tell what kind of like what kind of person he is by this quote but you know I'm glad that he's taking this role uh, as a more serious just just another role kind of instead of trying to play a joker if you know what I mean but you have to care what the fans think I mean the fans are the ones that eat sleep and breathe this stuff every single day they they love Batman they love the Joker and this is pretty much what some people like live for. So <laughs> this kind of attitude really worries people, <laughs> I think. I think it's also telling the fans of the movie that you're getting ready to, to shoot that uh, you don't care about them either. That's one way to do it. Although Phoenix will soon find out there are a ton of people out there who s obsess over this sort of thing. Yeah, like I just said. Remember how many words were spilled about Leto's portrayal and Ledger's portrayal? Yeah, that's another thing about Leto. He was just coming off of Heath Ledger's portrayal as the Joker, which that would be a hard act to follow. I mean, <laughs> but he tells IndieWire he's also not too worried about doing a big budget comic book film. If there's something that feels unique, then I don't really care what the genre is what budget it is. He said, those things aren't important. Instead, he said, what gets my interest is examining people. Some of it is really freaking simple. It's chemistry. It's like what you look for in a lover. Uh, what? You know it when it happens. Okay, well, more, uh, <laughs> at least he's, like, thinking about it, but he's also kind of, <laughs> he's also kind of given, like, the, the Joker, fans the middle finger in this. Uh, it's still pretty early to tell. The first quote that Joaquin Phoenix said about the Joker, this role, was that he was, like, freaking really nervous, which, which actually gave me hope. I was like, good, he's gonna, like, 
he's gonna re really try really hard to bring us like the best Joker that he can but <laughs> now it's just like ah I couldn't care less who cares hey as long as he doesn't send used condoms to his co-stars it'll be pretty great eh? okay that was funny so what do you think about this do you think Joaquin Phoenix is gonna make a good Joker uh I do still even though you know he came out and he said he didn't give us what we thought so uh but I'm still hoping it's going to be a good movie, even though I, mean, I don't really know why they're making it, especially without Batman. But we'll see what happens. You know, he'll probably have a cameo in it like he did in freaking uh, Suicide Squad. Anyway, I hope you're having a good one. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and I will see you next time.